Check out transition. They do that on TikTok. Transition. Oh man, 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 man. What's up? What's up? Um. So something happened this morning, and I had to go on a walk. So I went on a long ass walk. Process my thoughts. And I'm going to throw shit out into the atmosphere. Walking back the way I came. And then go home. But, um. Life's a journey. That's going to be the title. Life's a journey. It has a start. It has a middle. It has an end. So I'm not at the end of my journey. I'm in the middle. Doing middle things. It's not always easy, fun, exciting. Sometimes it sucks. But if you keep walking towards, keep moving forward. And here I'm stuck on that. What if your life just sucks and you just keep walking forward through a sucky life? But then what you could do is say it's in your mind. You know, you have a choice to decide if it's sucky or not. So, there's that. But, uh, so, um, I can't go into details about why, what the incident was, because, uh, um, for y'all who know, uh, what's his face? Uh, Young Thug. Young Thug. Thugger. He got, he got, um, and he got in trouble and they used his lyrics saying that the stuff he wrote about or rapped about was enough to you know arrest him what have you rico charges or some shit i don't know about all that i i, I liked a couple of his songs but I, I never went out and bought his album but uh yesterday i was in the gym you know on my elliptical doing elliptical things and uh I decided to listen to what the top music was of the day. And, you know, trap, drill, rap music. Whatever. So the guy comes on, he's like, I kill people. That's what I do. I wouldn't say it if it wasn't true. I kill people. If you disagree, I'll kill you. And another rapper would say, I got drugs in my pocket. I got drugs. I got drugs. I got drugs in my pocket. If the cops come over, then I'll probably start popping. I, and on and on. This is their conversation. Or this is their, their topic. And it's usually kind of... It's... um, What do you call it? It's... Good morning. It's... Uh, centered on that they're speaking their truth. You know, they, they, they started young when they was trapping. Now they out here and they rapping. But they still got their ratchet and they'll make... The, I could rap like that, but... It, According to this one guy that I battled in Philly a couple years back, like 15, 17, he's like, I smiled too much. But rappers smile now. But at that point in time, you know, you, you couldn't smile and be a rapper who was trapping. But now you can. But why would I? Because I don't live that life. So I wouldn't. But this was cool when I passed it. It's like a, what do they call it? Rock garden? But, but, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to keep this cohesive, but, um, um, I'm not about that life, but yeah, remember when Jay-Z got in trouble with the law and he, uh, he stabbed someone, he actually did stab someone, and you remember when Shine from Bad Boy Era, he shot up the club, he actually did shoot up the club, and remember when, I don't need to go on, but, rappers do rap about what they do so because the argument was we shouldn't use lyrics to incriminate and incarcerate people they're just expressing themselves but aren't they like it's really like if i said i was out here at 5 37 why wouldn't i be out here at 5 37 and if it just so happened that some shit went down and you happen to see the video why wouldn't you call me up and be like, well, you said you were there at 537. Did you see anything? But 
I'm not for or against. Like, uh, I like Nas. Oh, another example. You remember when Old DB said, got burnt by, got burnt once, but that was only gonorrhea. But he really did get burnt by. So if he was dating someone and she's like, have you ever had any sexual diseases? Transmitted diseases? He's like, no. And then she pulls up the rap. And he's like, what he just said. Couldn't she be like, well, you just said this. Anyway, so I saw that. I'm not going to be telling on myself when I make my videos because because so I'm a dance around that I said all that just so I'm a dance around what I'm gonna say but basically someone sent me an email of a conversation with someone else and did I need to see the converse did I need to know that conversation took place probably not but once I've seen it can't take it back and it it made me angry According to my therapist, anger is not a feeling, it's a reaction. I think she said something like that. So I guess it made me hurt, and then I got angry. That's how it's supposed to be, or that's the process. And I got angry, but um, things are complicated. I just can't go flying off the handle because of certain shit, which makes me sad because now I'm like, I'm, I'm caged. I can't do what I would normally do because the ramifications of that would fuck up everything else, right? So, it made me sad. Then, I started hearing this, uh... <sighs> if you ever had a mouse in your house, you know that sound, that, that little... So I'm like, what the hell is that? And then I look around, and then I, I, I go into the corner, and then I, I see the mouse. And he jumps up on the couch where I sit and drum out my music, whatever. That's my little space. So then I'm like, what the? F so then I, 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 I start like kicking the couch so he could jump out and I could yell at him. I pull off the cushion, he's not even in there. So now I'm thinking maybe I'm having a mental breakdown. Maybe I'm just imagining seeing this mouse in my house. Which I'm going crazy. I, I, I shouldn't tell my uh, my uh, my um, therapist this. She might uh, start writing in her book. He's seeing animals that are manifestations of his uh, anguish. But when my when my sister came after my mom passed, we saw a mouse, and she's like, "That's mom. Mom came back." So maybe it's mom saying. Everything is going to be okay. Or maybe it's just a mouse. I don't know. Because I could not find him. But, um. Like, I. Oh. When I was, uh. With my therapist. Or well, another one. The one before this one. She said, are you. Are you attracting these people into your lives? I'm like, What? What? kind of dumb shit is that like i got a big sign saying hey come on i mean you're born with your family how do you attract them they are there pop into existence they're there now i i, I can kind of get what she's saying because i met this one girl and she said something like all the guys that i'm around always do x y and z and i'm like where do you meet these guys and she's like you know at the at the strip club and I'm like, what do you expect to find at the strip club? Not saying that you could not find a nice soulmate at the strip club, but but she got upset with me and we kind of got into this tip. But um, yeah, so I was sitting there looking out the window, trying to evaluate my life, my life, because the situation is as such I'm home in America land of the free <laughs> I'm working on my music but as I said I was listening to the music that was being paid played right now on the radio and I don't make that kind of music I could but I wouldn't because one of my core things is honor and integrity but it doesn't seem like that's a selling point unless you're like 
like um the honor code there's a thieves have an honor code the streets have an honor code thoughts i, I don't know i don't know thoughts have an honor code like every person has their own code of conduct now some of some codes of conduct are different and you may we me being outside of that code of conduct we might not understand it because we are coming from a different code of conduct but um so my music is like when i performed at the other show you saw the thing with the 360 nobody be liking the 360 it's like a 3d man i guess it got to be more exciting i guess but um but that's why I put up two, because I learned from previous times. Ain't nobody sitting there scrolling about, unless there's something to see. But I'm working on it. Well, anyway. But uh, the one guy was like, yeah, I like your music because it's so real and it's so true. Like, that's my thing. Like I said, I met this girl. I met this girl, and she said this, and like it's... But that's an acquired taste, I believe. Like this whole channel, acquired taste. I, I <laughs> someone who didn't know me like if I was selling it I, I, I and I did try to sell me when I was in NBA school I was like yeah you know I'm an inspirational dude I speak the truth da, 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 da. like I don't see it now granted I saw a clip from uh, Dave Chappelle when he tried to sell a Dave Chappelle show they're like ah eh, we're not interested so it gives me hope because look at him now getting bum rushed on stage and joking about it but like um people tend not to see things before like it takes a certain gift to be like okay i, I can see where you're going now look at the list the beatles the beatles didn't get signed right off the bat they had a like they got turned down i don't know how many times lauren hill she got booed when she was, uh, I mean, she gets booed now because she shows up late, but she got booed at the Apollo, right? Um, Wu-Tang, Jay-Z, Rockefeller. Like, there's a whole gauntlet. Can I say gauntlet? Whole plethora of people that didn't get that initial, I get what you're doing, let's run. So I'm in that camp. People don't see what I'm doing until way after the fact. And it's frustrating, you know, because if they could see in my brain all the pieces that are on some, like, I just saw this day, Feige, the Marvel guy, he got like 20,000 different little pieces of whatever, and they're all going to tie together. Or at least he's trying. I don't, it's intricate. These are millions of dollars being spent to make this one cohesive so in my brain, like, like yesterday, you know what I did? I sat on the couch where that mouse invaded today, mouse, and I was working on my drum machine. I wasn't making music. All I was doing is I pulled up the manual and I was trying to learn how to, how to delete samples, how to copy, how to, how to get the workflow down. So we'll, cause it's mad complicated. Like, the way it's set up there's no like undo buttons so you just get a one shot like it's on the spot kind of thing so you got to get fluid you got to get um muscle memory so that's all i did was <laughs> and I, i'll stand up like oh my gosh didn't even know you could do that and i do it again now i forgot it so i was like i gotta write these down that way i could pull it up on a little thing but that's all I did. Now, anyone who was like looking, like, what's Matthew doing? Because I wasn't making music, got my headphones on. I'm just sitting there very calm, pushing the button. Ah, okay, okay. So that means, and then trying some out, trying some theories. But again, nobody except someone else in another part of the world who has the same machine would be like, that's what's up, man. Frustrating. So yeah, I saw this email, it made me sad, it made me angry, and 
I'm looking out the window. Hello. Trying to. That's interesting. I'm sorry. I, I, was, I was in the thought. Interesting. So everyone I see past, not everyone, but as I'm walking and talking, people are like smiling. But I always put the camera away from them, even though I'm going this way. That's cool. They used to do that in Japan. Or maybe it's a hiking thing, because when I was climbing up a little mountain, all the people were really friendly. Anyway, so I'm looking out the window, meta metaphorical window, destiny or the future. Do I A, continue to get good at this? Or do I give it up? Because that's where I'm at right, what well, was the thought I had this morning. Do I give it up or keep going, go harder? But the problem, well, the issue is, if I go hard into this, I'm just, on I'm only going to make the people around me think, ah, you're not doing anything. Because it's going to take a minute before I could figure out how to, because once I got all the muscle memory, I got to figure out how to hold this drum machine. I got to figure out how to perform. I got to write new songs. I got to da 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 Ain't nobody going to drop money for them early stuff. They're just... That's open mic. Get to a point, they're gonna come find me. Can you? But it's like I, I'm in a league of my own, as I always have been. And it's frustrating because, in addition to, you know, all that other bullshit, I got to deal with all that other bullshit and still be creative. And if I was scoring this or there was music in the background, this is where it would get all like low and ominous. So not ominous, but just kind of uh, uh, solemn. And <laughs> I'm narrating. I tell you, man, like if, so I don't know if I can do all this alone. I mean, I'm doing it alone and I'm, you know, you see I'm on this journey by myself. But um, it, it's hard. I don't know, cause like it'd be different. Like it, I, I feel it would be different. Like as if, um, and this, I, I don't like ever, I hate putting it this way because anyone could say this. Well, if I had a this, then this is a, well, you don't have a that. So what are you gonna do about it? But for the sake of argument, if, I had immense success, right? Then it'd be like, okay, okay, I saw what you did and you're trying to get that back. All right, what do you need? But I haven't had immense success. When I say immense, I mean, that could be anything, but uh, just, I mean, within myself, that, that when I uh, figured out that combination on my beat machine yesterday, that was immense success for me. When I, uh, like, this is my first t shirt that I ever made in Japan 15, 16 years ago. Immense success for me. I don't need much more than that because it was an idea and I put it into fruition. I made a plan and I actualized, like, I'm winning. <sighs> but it's hard to have that winning feeling when things are different. How do I say this? Uh, so I, I like I'm stuck in this. On the one hand, I'm good. I'm good. I'm alive. I'm healthy. When I be on my elliptical, I ain't passing out. Zumba. I'm getting good with the steps. But on the other hand, you see I'm switching hands here? I, like I'm stuck. And I, I don't know the way forward. Do I go forward by moving forward or do I take a literal step backwards? A bunch of step backwards. And then someone suggested this to me, you know, he's like, you know, do the music, but first go get a corporate job because you're really smart. Work your nine to five for like 20 years. And then when you have all the money in the world, come back and then do your music. That makes no sense to me. 
I mean, it makes sense that, yeah, if I had a corporate job because I'm so smart and I did my 10, 15 years and now I'd be 61, 62, I'd have more money in my pocket and then I could come back. <laughs> like my channel would be blank for like 20 years and then 20 years I'm like, hey, I'm back. Look at me, I could do all these things and look at this. That could work, I guess. But everything's in flux. It's not like everyone is. I get here's another concept that I I, I realize. Life goes on. You know, like my mom passed away. That is sad for me and my family and whatever. But in that time, a friend of mine, she had a baby. Two friends. They had. Oh, she just had hers. I saw the baby. Beautiful baby. Another friend of mine. They're having a baby, which is beautiful um people are having birth like things are moving forward for me and the, my family like for my dad and me like yesterday i was going through my shit whatever and um but i was pr productive like i always feel even if i'm having a whatever day as long as i do stuff i'm good but whatever so around 10 o'clock i just went to bed like you know what i'm done i'm gonna reset go to bed and then my dad he uh he went to bed at 11 30 which is weird because he usually goes to bed before me so he comes up and he's like are you are you sleeping he turns the light on now the way i am now uh when my mom passed i was just on high alert because I, I couldn't really go to sleep because if she called my name i had to get up and go to her room to check what up so i do that with my dad so i'm never really sleeping sleeping unless i stay up like all night which i try not to do so as soon as the light came on i'm up <laughs> I'm like hey he's like hey and he's like yeah so this morning when i i, I went checked on him he's just like yeah this house and i get it you know so um so that's it man that that's the journey and uh that's what i was going through this morning and i'm gonna do the best i can to do the best i can one day those phrases of mine i'll be at my uh, alma mater talking to my the graduating class i'm like just do the best you can because that's the best you can or some shit like that and they're gonna stand in the stand ovation but for now that's just uh Matthew's logic and uh yeah it's hot so be hydrated I have my bottle of water and uh peace <laughs> it does I hate when it does that all right peace